Já v tohle chvíli mezi námi dnes ráno vítám tým vývojářů z Kult Data. Je tady Petr Janou, Jiří Šitina a Jaroslav Tomeček. Aha, a já bych mluvit anglicky, ale protože zatím jako není, tak je to vlastně jedno. Ale budeme anglicky, tak počkej, začneme ještě jednou, protože už tady máme skrýce. Tak jo, so uh, once again, uh, good morning, I'm happy that all people we invited just join in the morning. Uh, thank, to, uh, thank to our good data team to uh, hold this presentation in English. And so uh, I'm happy to learn a little bit uh, more about your background and behind uh, what, what's around the behind the scene in good data. So I'd like to ask Veronica for a small introduction of today's morning presentation. Thank you. Okay. Thank you very much. Uh, good morning, everybody. Um, I'm looking forward to, to the session during uh, this um, 50 or 60 minutes. You will uh, learn a little bit more or more details about good data, uh, particularly about our front end and back end part. So uh, I'm looking forward to uh, Peter, Jirka and Yarda's presentation. Uh, I will stay here till the end uh, and I'll, um, I will be uh, here to answer all your questions about uh, about career possibilities or, or open positions. So uh, thank you for joining us and have fun. Okay, so and I think that Peter can start. Okay. I guess <laughs> yeah, yeah, I'm getting ready. I will share the screen. We have a presentation for you. And I guess here Kashitina will start with the. Uh, yeah, that's, that yeah. Sounds quite right. So, once again, good morning, everybody. Um, my name is Irka Shitina, manager in Good Data. Uh, working here for quite a while already. And with me, except from Verchao, we also have Yarda and Peter who are going to introduce themselves as well. Peter, if you, if you don't shuffle them. Yes. Hello, everybody. I'm I'm Petriano. I'm a manager of of front end uh, Brno teams. I I work in in Good Data since 2017, so it was four years uh, uh, this month. And I started as a as a front end engineer, and then I moved to the role of manager. So that's it for me. And the last one is me. Uh, so I'm Jaroslav Tomeček, working as a as a manager. Uh, in Beno, uh, I'm managing three teams with three different uh, like domains, uh, varying from uh, operations to uh, application development. And I was hired at the last one, so uh, I will be celebrating four years in, in a few weeks. All right. So, what what do we do? What is what is good data? Uh, what we do is data as a service or business intelligence as a service. And uh, actually just a just couple of days ago on Monday, we had our founder here in, in Czech Republic explaining our business model and, and the stuff what we do as an octopus that we try to basically help, help the businesses to succeed with the legs as, as far as sources of data and various aspects of of getting to know what's what's going on in, in their business and how we do it is is that we help with with the entire flow of of this so from the very first connection of the data sources through some storage processing till the till the final uh, final creation of metrics and then visualization of them as as reports or or dashboards so we cover all of those aspects, and uh, we can do it. Uh, we can do it at scale, and we can do it either either in a you know hosted way or as a, as a service. And as the latest news, we can even uh, even provide the Kubernetes image so that uh, our customer can download our analytical platform and and run it in uh, in their own in their own uh, environment or, or data center. So it's, it's big news for us. Uh, by the way, uh, guys, feel free to stop us at any time if you, if you have any 
any questions or shoot them to to chat. I will try to to check check up on it, and we are happy to answer anything. There is going to be space for for broader questions at the end as well, but but don't be shy to interrupt us at any moment. We are not not that picky on it. All right, Petio, can we move on? Who are our customers? Uh, apart from uh, from some big companies that are not so not so famous and not so known in CZ, we've got also some big brands. Uh, the the ones that that shine the most at the moment are are definitely Visa and Mastercard. It's it's a big deal for us that we were able to. To get them as our customers, because in order to comply with uh, with the banking sector, we need to be certified for for all all the aspects of, of security and data safety. You can imagine you can imagine plus many other aspects you you cannot imagine. Uh, on top of it, we have we have also Zalando, the big uh, big retail. Uh, Zalando is checking up basically how various brands and how various uh items in their uh in their shop are doing and and how to how to make uh their uh, their business better then it's totus it's a it's a massive customer from from brazil from south america and they are something like sap here in here in europe and in, in the states just for south uh, south america and then in the in the bottom right corner it's it's double verified it's a company that I guess not not many people know here in CZ, but they are huge in analysis of, of marketing campaigns. And they are definitely our champion uh, in uploading the, the the biggest amounts of data and being the most challenging to our to our data centers because they they go like like crazy and they cause us some some headaches as we have to deal with 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 the amounts of data they they do upload if we can move on yeah as a company uh we are founded in 2007 when uh when roman stanek our founder actually purchased small uh small but no startup that was trying to build analytical platform in in battle with with no front end no no fancy bits and uh, since the day one, he was with him in global. Uh, that's why he he based the company to San Francisco. And uh, and through the time, we've grown to have over three hundred employees to be on four major sites. Uh, there is there is the top management in San Francisco. We've got two engineering sites here in CZ. One in one in Praha in Karlin, the other one in Brno, the very center and uh, one in Vietnam, in Saigon, where we originally had only Q&A department, but uh, through the time, Saigon, Saigon office has, has grown into the full, full on uh, engineering hub. And at the moment, we've got five production environments, two in the States, uh, one in London, one in, uh, one in Frankfurt, as London is not part of you any longer and one in Canada. Uh, we are also considering to grow in, in Australia or in, in this region. It's it's work in progress and hopefully by the end of the year we will have we'll have another data center. And as you can see on the reaction of Yarda, it's gonna be some some more activity for his teams. Okay, uh, if we move on to to the back end uh our our entire platform is is built around uh, rest apis just a question for the audience if you are still here uh does anybody have an idea what what race rest apis are sounds pretty silent no i don't sorry for that <laughs> I only heard the term API. That's only what I heard. Yeah, basically, it's a it's a way how how various components can communicate by by sending some some form of of messages, regardless the programming language. And uh, for us, it's a big deal because it allows us to use 
to use different programming languages and different technologies and basically not to be bound or, or blocked to, to only one. And so that we can uh, we can utilize uh, the best the best language or the best technology that fits fits the job we are we are looking for. The platform itself is is developed for for eleven plus years, maybe even longer. Uh, as I already mentioned, uh, we are software as a service and exposing the API endpoints plus the the front end applications. As Petra will will talk about a little bit later. As we run on the cloud, uh, we keep the same uh, same version deployed everywhere, so that the customer always uses the, the latest and greatest version. However, we use something we call feature flags or, or settings that uh, can turn on and off the features, for example, to allow us to test some some features just with a subset of customers, not to uh, not to be too aggressive, because some of our customers are rather like old school and uh, do not like changes that much so we keep we keep their environment as stable as, as possible as i already mentioned we, we use plenty of programming languages plenty of database types again it's uh it's a legacy of of the historical development and uh we try to to use always the language that fits the best to the to the job. So I'll, I'll talk about it a little bit later. Uh, what is interesting in our company is that uh, that we try to run in in DevOps mode. So whenever the team develops some some feature or or works on a component, the team itself also uh, deals with uh, with running it in the production and and uh, checking up that that everything works fine so majority of the teams are holding something we we call pager duty so that one one of the engineers is is uh, available on the phone 24 7 and when something happens he, he deals with or she deals with the with the situation uh, one more thing about a platform that uh, it's multi-tenant, so it's that uh, it's one one uh, set of uh, set of servers, and uh, those servers are then shared among multiple customers or or among the customers who are using that the data center, and uh, we test a lot or we try to test as as much as because with the complexity of the platform, without the tests. It, it would just not work at all. Okay, uh, if we move on, just some random numbers. Uh, what, what I find inter interesting is that uh, we've got around 80,000 weekly active users. So it's really the users who log in to the analytics, check up check up on their numbers and, uh, and carry on and, and really use use the analytics for their day-to-day -day, day -day job. A lot of the customers actually use our analytics without knowing because uh, because uh, our platform can be easily embedded into some some other systems. So many many customers, even those uh, those banking ones I was mentioning some minutes ago, uh, use us as a as a part of their their platform. So you see the charts, you see the uh, you see the tables, but you you don't really know that it's that it's good data. And uh, we are uh, we are uploading, or the customers are uploading uh, more than 150 terabytes of data per week. I'll just shut the window because there's some funny bird crying in the background. Okay, uh, if we move on, as as I already mentioned, uh, Pedro. Yep, uh, we've got, uh, we are counting it around 15 engineering teams. Those teams are, are uh, normally built around either technology or more likely around the, the, the logical block, like logging of the user or some part of visualizations or, or some, some calculations of, of reports or such. Uh, as we are a global company, all the written communication is in English. We've got quite a lot of expats working in both, both Czech offices. 
uh, I guess majority of the teams is, is somehow mixed, so that, that we have at least one or, or, or two foreigners. Uh, as for the programming languages, uh, the main uh, main uh, backend language is is now Kotlin or becoming the number one language. Historically, it's been Perl, then slowly replaced by Java, and now now being replaced by Kotlin. We've got bits in, in Erlang, bits in Python, and and most likely also in some some other languages, but it's it's just for some tiny fractions. Plus, uh, there are front end applications in JavaScript. S -s Sorry to call it just JavaScript, but we will go into into more details because it's not just alert window any any longer. And uh, we use many many other interesting technologies. Uh, Definitely worth mentioning. We uh, we store all our source codes on, on GitHub and use use Jenkins extensively for for the testing and for the pipelines. And then there are some more some more names we use for for monitoring uh, running of the virtual machines and, and such. But I guess nothing uh, nothing worth any any special special deep details. And if we go if we go forward, uh, what is what is the typical day in good data? Right now, despite the offices are reopening, we still work from home quite a lot. Uh, since since uh, about a year ago, the company supports full remote. The whole company had to switch to to work from home, and it happened basically overnight, and there were no no big troubles with it. And uh, the teams themselves, we work uh, mainly using Scrum in, in one way or another. Uh, so we run two week uh, two week long sprints. We do we do plannings every day. The team meets for for something called stand up or daily daily check up, where we basically sync uh, sync up on how we are doing, what's what's the status of the things. And mainly to to let the others know if if we need any help with that, with something, but at the same time, most of the teams are basically connected all the time to to Slack, to the to the chatting platform or via via like text chat. Plus, many teams are using also something like Zoom or or even Zoom themselves to to feel a bit more uh, to feel a bit more connected. Uh, as for the as for the like work itself, the normal developer usually gets to know about the topics he's or she's about to work on during the preparation of the sprint, where where the team discusses, okay, we are going to tackle this this topic and we need to break it to break it down to to those tasks, and then uh, then the developer gets the task itself assigned, works on it. And uh, once the code is ready, we uh, we shoot something called called the uh, pull request. It's basically a proposal of the changes. We use GitHub for for this, and uh, you post your your changes in there and get them checked by the others as, as as a code review. And also, once you propose those code changes, it's automatically tested. So anytime we uh, we push some new code. To the to the code base, uh, we want to make sure that that it does not break things or or yeah we, we we try to make sure that that it's as correct as possible. Then once once the code makes it to the to the code base and gets gets merged, uh, we release new version of the entire platform every two weeks. We we do it. Uh, Without without downtime, so the customers do not really know with the with the original platform, and we are also migrating uh, some parts of the platform to be able to be updated uh, pretty much anytime. So so with with many components, it can happen that the developer makes change, and within a couple of minutes, it's it's live and the customers can be using it, which is which is pretty cool. And the uh, last bit I wanted to mention that we are definitely and, and massively dog friendly office. This is this is Oliver watching watching the Carlin office. Okay, passing to, to Peter. 
Yes, about the front end. Uh, what is the front end? You know, uh, the definition is that this, or definition may be that this is the part of the application or the platform which runs on on the client side and, and communicates with with the backend uh, using the API. Yeah. If 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 you know what was the history of the front end, you can remember that that you know uh, originally it was some kind of HTML page with some styles and and pictures and maybe some jQuery doing some animations and so on. Uh, it's no longer valid, you know, for us uh, because because our front end this is uh, is a huge and, and complex uh, single page application, and we have written it or no, we, we, we wrote it in, in, in TypeScript uh, on top of React uh, library. Uh, and as, as Sierka said, uh, you know, the, the, the front end is, is it's not mandatory to use uh, front end when, when you are, uh, when you want to use a good data platform. Uh, uh, and our front end communicates with with, with the with the backend uh, using this REST REST API, and it's it's completely you know standalone uh, part of 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 our platform. Uh, uh, I have some some you know uh, showcase of of our applications that could uh, potentially uh, show you or or. Uh, you know, let you understand how how the good data platform works. It, it it's just small, you know, piece of of all platform, but it can help you to understand what what uh, what is our platform about. Yeah. So uh, the first application uh, that that front end uh, takes care of uh, uh, is is uh, the application that's called Analytical Designer. Uh, here we here we have the the demo of it. Uh, it's, it's the application that, that shows you, you know, the, the data you have in, in your model uh, that are available for doing some calculations and, and for showing, you know, what, uh, showing some numbers and, and doing some analytics ad hoc. Uh, so if, if you look at this, uh, we, have, we have something like uh, revenue and, and number of orders uh, by some customer region. We can, we can, you know, break it down by, by, for example, for example, a city, you know, where uh, where these customers live. Yeah, so you, you can see uh, it here. You can you can, for example, you know, do some some summaries of, of rows and so on uh, within within this uh, this table. But if you don't like the you know this kind of visualization, you can you can, for example, switch it to to column chart or or some other chart. Uh, you know, you, you you want we. We support a lot of, you know, some kind of visualizations, and uh, there is a lot of features, you know, and, and small functionalities hidden, hidden here under under this these drawdowns and so on. So so it, it it's quite complex. It allows you to do uh, a lot of analytics. Uh, you can also, you know, re register for for our freemium account. Yeah, it's it's it can be uh, can be searched on on our uh, Good Data website. Uh, this is the freemium, uh, my personal freemium account, and I, uh, for example, I do it for for some kind of analysis. I I, I for uh, for my work or or even in, in personal life. Yeah, so I just upload there the data and create the model, and upload uh, the CSVs and and uh, do this ad hoc analysis. Yeah, so so this this analytical designer is, is quite powerful. Uh, the Second application we we are uh, maintaining on and developing on front end is it's called dashboards. Uh, this is the the application for for showing the the uh, visualizations or, or the reports you you created uh, using the analytical designer. As as you can see, I can I can put here this uh, this table. I I just. Uh, you know, uh, worked with uh, in analytical designer. I can mess uh, with it somehow. You know, create my own dashboard. You know, put the put the uh, reports to, to to some dashboard and and you know um, have it on on uh, on one page basically. Uh, so this is the second part of the front end. And third part is not the application. It's it's actually the the SDK. Uh, we call it good, good data UI. It's the open source TypeScript, or with possibility there is a possibility to fall back to, to JavaScript. 
SDK, uh, which allows you to to create custom um, custom applications. You know, you don't need to to use our analytical designer and dashboards to to build the the analytics uh, like the 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 front end of, of of your analytics. Yeah, so. Uh, we have uh, we have quite extensive uh, documentation of, of our UI, uh, but what uh, the, the basic principle is that uh, our UI allows you to 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 you know put the visualizations that are loaded from from our platform to your application. Uh, it's 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 quite you know easy. We we allow uh, our uh, users uh, or customers to to adopt this. Uh, Mm, you know, uh, easily we have some. Uh, where is it? Uh, we have some examples. You know, in in this sandbox that uh, that uh, you know allows you to to play with that. You know, interactively to try it. So, for example, if if you want to use this this pivot table, it's it's about you know uh, putting three or four lines of of, of the code in, into the into your React application. Uh, so, it's quite easy uh, and to start using uh, our uh, our SDK it's it's also easy because you, you just install uh, or you just run this this great data react app which we made for for our users and and it, it bootstraps the all uh, whole application you can see here in in, in this sandbox uh, so mm, you can start uh, you know playing with with our uh, with our SDK and with our platform in 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 a minute, if if you are a little bit skilled in uh, in front end and in uh, in Node and so on. Uh, so uh, back to the presentation. What uh, technologies we are using on front end? Uh, as I said, TypeScript. Yeah, everything is is written in TypeScript because it's not possible to maintain such such a complex uh code base you know in, in in plain javascript without types so and yes we we use uh, react ui to, to build the, the user interface and with with the redux, redux as a as a state manager uh i will probably skip these technologies because they are you know, related to to front end uh to front end guys uh so and i will i will pass uh pass the mic to to yada Okay, so once again, good morning from uh, Beno. Uh, I will a little bit explain uh, good data from a different perspective. Guys, we're very much talking about our customers and uh, like uh, front end and back end. Uh, I would like to give it a, a little bit different perspective. So if we can go on. Uh, we have uh, we have uh, three different products. I will be talking about them uh, in, in a while. Uh, like, um, Petya was uh, a few minutes ago um, presenting how the application uh, looks like. In all of these cases, it looks like more or less the same. Uh, Petya might may not uh, agree in uh, like fully, but uh, but uh, it looks more or less the same. Uh, so can we go on? Uh, so the first one is good, good data enterprise, and uh, if you remember the very first slide, uh, I was showing the all the customers. Uh, all of them are running on top of uh, uh, this enterprise application. We call it also the Bear. There is some some long history why is it called Bear, and I don't I don't still understand the full, full story. So so I'm not going to uh, talk about it. But basically, what it is, uh, it is end to end uh, business intelligence cloud solution, which was already, already described by guys. They they showed uh, what it is. Uh, what you get uh, is basically, or you, you pay, you basically pay uh, per subscription. So. So you can imagine it like when you are paying for, I don't know, Netflix or, um, or uh, Google Play or YouTube Music, uh, or these, these, uh, these things. So you have some monthly payment and what you get is not actually the, the, uh, the software, what you get is the service that the, 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 the software runs well. So that's why it's called software as a service. 
With that, you get uh, support 24/7, and you get uh, what we call uh, what we call professional services, which is a team who is uh, helping with your specific implementations and such. Uh, they help you with uh, with uh, some uh, some specific solutions on the top of uh, Good Data UI, which was uh, previously presented by Petya. Uh, they help you with integration with your solutions and such. Regarding technologies, they, they, all of them are mentioned here, and they were already even previously mentioned that they are so that uh, so it means that they are running the, the backend as it was described before as well as the front end as, as Petya was talking about it. So unless there are any questions, we can go on. And the other uh, product is Good Data Freemium. Uh, it has it is running on the same hardware, software, what you, whatever you call it, uh, as, as the enterprise. The difference is that it is for free uh, on like for let's say uh, until you reach some some uh, usage level uh, so it means that uh, you don't pay for it but you don't get the the, the support because as, as i mentioned in our case you are not paying for the software you are paying for the service uh, around that so there is no support available no services available just a limited functionality because there is nobody who can set it up for you on our site and such uh, and the technology stack is very similar or actually the same as uh, as for the uh, for the for the for the enterprise uh, actually i have a mistake here because uh, i mentioned vertica here and vertica is not available for freemium so so there is there are some changes uh, but uh, not much of them and the last one, Petio, is uh, what is called Good Data Cloud Native. Uh, we call it Tiger. So if you, if, you, if you wake me up in the middle of the night and ask me about Good Data Cloud Native, I will probably not have an idea what you are talking about. But if you mention Tiger, it will be much better. And uh, it is what Irka was talking about previously when he mentioned that there is some Docker image or Kubernetes image available on the, on the Docker Hub, uh, which you can uh, download and play with uh, good data. You can do it, uh, the, the link is here, or you can go to Docker Hub and uh, search for good data, you, you will find it. It takes like, I don't know, 10 minutes before you make it run and then you can uh, you can use the analytical designer and uh, dashboards as it was presented by Petya. It is quite new product, uh, basically written from scratch uh, with all the know-how we gained uh, since 2007 when the, when the company was founded. And the goal is uh, that our customers can run it also in their data centers or their environment uh, or even on, on a laptop, uh, like uh, the, the laptop I'm just using uh, can run uh, this, this, this Tiger application. Uh, it is using uh, bleeding edge technologies such as Java, Kotlin, TypeScript, Kubernetes, Docker, Postgres, and uh, many more expected. Uh, we are really on the on, on the edge of what it, all of these technologies offer at the moment. And uh, it is it is from our perspective, this is an investment uh, for the future. We are the, the, the main focus uh, is still on on the bear, the previous two applications. And the, and the and what is also important is that we will also, I would say backward, even though it is not probably the best word, uh, all the all the new things developed in in Tiger uh, back to bear. So we we innovated the uh, the, uh, the the Tiger uh, sorry the bear applications. So that's it about the products. Yeah, uh, uh, actually, actually about this the, the best. The best how to describe this is uh, is actually the picture we got on our t-shirts when bear and tiger are are hugging each other. Like we we try to to use the best from from the both worlds, and not to backport it but to integrate it a little bit, yeah. a little bit yeah. more. And then it's probably the better one. Thank you. And uh, so and uh, what we did not. Uh, uh, talk about yet is uh, like who, who are the people we are uh, looking for. 
also the next slide. We actually we are uh, looking for a mindset, no technology. So it means uh, it means that uh, previously we have seen that we are, we are using a lot of technologies because we were adopting them as they were fitting for a specific use cases. Uh, so we were like not uh, adapting the solution to the technology, but rather using the technology, uh, which is uh, which is fitting the solution. Uh, so it is very challenging sometimes to to like understand uh, all the technologies we are using because there are too many of them. So that's that's the reason why we are looking for much more for a specific mindset and another technology. So it's like uh, that during the hiring process, we we are testing uh, how the candidates think. Uh, not that much as uh, what you use, which means that we ex that the the, the uh, candidates and the new employees will uh, learn what we are doing and uh, there is a lot of opportunities to learn and we are, we are actually expecting that uh, that you will learn and uh, we will help you so it is like uh, part of our company culture to to help actually um, new uh, new uh, uh, how to say it uh, to help you with uh, starting your new careers and, uh, and uh, as a first job. For instance, uh, in my teams, I have currently three students uh, out of 21 engineers. I'm actually very close to, to hire another one, so I will have four students. Uh, and uh, for, from my perspective, it is uh, I enjoy it a lot, and it is a good investment because I know that uh, these, these these students are happy to learn and uh, they they will hopefully stay with us because they will they will like it here so for instance i have a pedal position currently in and i don't know i don't know if anyone uh, still knows pedal but it was a very cool language still 10 years ago and i'm a, a former pedal developer so i'm i know what i'm talking about and uh, but it is, it is very challenging to find a pedal developer uh, recently uh, my theory is that, uh, that there is there was no big uh, company like supporting Perl, unlike for instance Python, which was supported by by uh, Google or Java, which was supported by Sun, which was like a bought by Oracle. Uh, but there was no one uh, behind Perl. Um, but it, it is a cool language anyway. And uh, so so because there are actually no candidates available on the market. We are happy to invite uh, or to 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 interview somebody somebody who is willing to learn parallel. We don't expect any parallel experience. Uh, it is just that you, you show us that you can uh, you can learn the technology. Uh, I was actually talking about a fourth student. Uh, I'm, I'm I'm considering at the moment. So I had a call with her last week, and she was very enthusiastic about learning something new. And uh, the the interview, uh, or it was the first time during the call when she heard about Parallel, and uh, she has a deadline for the for uh, some small project in, in Parallel today. And based on her questions she sent me yesterday, she's very close to finish it. So so. You know, it is exactly the mindset I'm looking for. Somebody who is willing to learn, somebody who is willing to boot into, into new things, even though uh, he she uh, doesn't have uh, the, the, the hard skills at the moment. So that's it from my side. Okay, uh, thank you very much. Uh, can, you, can you hear me? Yes, we can. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Perfect. And uh, I think that we have a couple more minutes uh, for uh, for the questions. So um, I'm pretty sure that, uh, or I hope that uh, question will uh, occur based on um, based on the presentation. So uh, do not hesitate and feel free to uh, to ask. Um, yeah, Tereka or Petya about the technologies or other things you are interested in. Yeah, yeah. Or, or the teams or something. Yeah. Or Hi, guys. Okay. Uh, this is Harold. So I have a question. Um, do you guys have any like entry level openings for front end or back end? Because I was checking out the, the website and it seems like um, there are like three or four positions for senior developers. Yes, we have we have uh, we have opened also also uh, 
level engineer uh, position for front end. And I don't know about the back end. It is uh, it is what I mentioned uh, previously. Like we we are actually yes, uh, yes. The advertisements uh, are usually talking about uh, senior developers because it is uh, like our wish to have somebody who is ready, who has the right skills, who have uh, who is uh, ready to start here and uh, do our job instead of us. But uh, but obviously this is not uh, possible with the, with the with the current uh, situation on the market. Let's say. So technically, technically, any any position could be a starting position. Yeah, actually, typically we uh, we consider uh, the proper candidates based on their resume. So uh, if you are interested um, in good data, just uh, uh, send send us your resume, or if you have a LinkedIn profile. Uh, you can send it to recruitinggooddata.com mm -hmm. and uh, we'll discuss that with uh, with the managers and we'll get back to you as soon as we get um, a feedback. Okay, I'll send it to you. Thank you. Perfect. Perfect. Thank you. Any other question? Uh, I would like to ask. Can you give me? Yep. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Uh, because I am uh, majoring in stati statistics in Matfis. At Matfis, is it possible to find a job uh, at your company? Since I am no programmer or such that. Actually, uh, actually, there is a there is a team that uh, specializes on the we call it uh, good data analytical engine, and it's it's the part that does all the all the computations and actually translates our proprietary query language similar to SQL to the to the real SQL and there's there's a lot of maths in in, in that and it's the guys I guess n none of them was originally a programmer like all of them have, have mathematical background or statistical background and so I believe that that, that would be the team. So definitely, just like uh, just like with Harold, shoot us the CV and uh, and we'll see what what we can do about it. Thank you very much. Okay. Anyone else? Sorry for that, Carolina. I just uh, I had a question. Uh, I just uh, I listened to the previous question and uh, my question is on if uh, how can we just describe the the, uh, the idea what is uh, what are the people looking for uh, I think it should be a part of the CV at the beginning maybe just people and should has should add some abstract or summary what they know what they expect what they would like to do because uh, when you don't have any open position to the field, you know, field of study they are looking for, maybe it's better to, it also helps you to find a position for this person in your team. Yeah, exactly. Uh, thank you very much. Um, this definitely helps. And this is uh, also what we not require, uh, but it's nice to uh, have a short description of what you are interested in, uh, what this, uh, what are you looking for, and uh, you can also add the information what you are really not looking for, so we can uh, so we can avoid um, inconveniences. Uh, this th this fits to what what Yarda was mentioning, like the technologies are nice if you if you know them. But they are not not the must, like provided that you are willing to learn and that you that you want to get better in whatever is, is necessary. Yes, I I think this is important for uh, um, juniors and uh, freshmen because they are exactly don't know what they are looking for. The position which is uh, open officially on web servers is not that corresponds their expectations. Even they exactly don't do not know what they have, who they want. So I think it might help just if we some if they try to summarize uh, their profile 
So it, it helps you how to put this person. We also discuss the interests and hobbies. I think it's a, uh, it's also an important part of the um, of the CV. So you can see if this person fits in your team or not, based on this leisure time. Yeah, does it work uh, for you in good uh, in data too? Yes, it definitely helps. You know, we we care about the culture in good data, so so we are interested also in, in your hobbies. You know. Yeah, and it's typically also part of the interview afterwards. Okay. So, but uh, at the same time, it's not that uh, I don't know if you played football, you you would be disqualified. <laughs> the other way around, and yeah. and uh, as 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 we are, as we have quite a lot of guys. I guess you can find a, any hobby you can imagine within our teams. It's it's really a lot. It varies a lot, and uh, it's it's actually positive that you care about something like extra and something like off of your main main field. Okay, thank you. I just I think it's right, and we just hold discussions with our students regarding the. Uh, 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 what, what should be written in the CV, and I think this is a part of it. Okay, thank you. It was just uh, for me, uh, for my visit. Yep, thank you. So, if you don't have any more questions for now, someone else? Well, if not, <laughs> thanks a lot uh, uh, to Veronika, Irka, Petra, and Yarda for your time. For, uh, morning coffee with us. Uh, I, I really enjoy it. I hope uh, the same does our crew which join in the morning and hope you will stick us uh, for next day too. Okay, uh, thank you very much. Uh, since uh, you realize you have uh, a couple more questions um, after this uh, meeting uh, finish, feel free to uh, reach us on that email address. Um, recruiting with data.com uh, feel free to ask us uh, I will reply as soon as um, I get the, the answer for you thank you and I just stopped the recording thank you a lot thank you thank you